Hi everyone. Now our new topic is called Happily Ever After and we are learning all about fairy tales or traditional tales. Now does anybody know what this, does anybody think they might know what this story might be about? Have a little think about the fairy tales you know. That's right, it has got the three little pigs, hasn't it? However, this story is a little bit different. Remember, sometimes fairy tales can be twisted and changed a little bit. So this one is a bit of a twist on the, on the traditional three little pigs story. And it's called the three little super pigs. Okay, so we've got one, two, three pigs there. And if, you, if I put the book closer, you can actually have a look. Can you see? that around their necks, on their little necklaces, it says sp one, sp three, and I guess that this one is sp two. What do you think sp stands for? What do you think? That's right, super, s for super, p for pig, three. One, two, three. And do you like this little pig stripy pants there? Have you got some stripy pants like that? I think they're awesome and I like this guy's mask look. What do they look like? They're like superheroes aren't they? Superhero pigs. And this story is written by Claire Evans. Claire Evans is the author. The author is the person who writes the book. Let's take a look inside. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf when he was trying to eat them. He fell bottom first down their chimney into a big pan of boiling water. I'll get you one day, little pigs, shouted the angry wolf. Oh, he does look very angry, doesn't he? As he was carted off to prison. That little sign there says prison, can you see? Off he goes. As a thank you for defeating the nasty villain, the pigs were awarded superhero, super pig status by the grateful citizens of Fairyland. And they helped to rebuild the whole town out of bricks to keep everybody safe. We love you, super pigs. Can you see all the citizens, all the people? They're so happy. From that moment on, the super pigs spent all their days fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. But mostly, there was one hard-working, clever pig who did all the work, whilst his brothers just reveled in their newfound fame. Oh yes, so who do you think is doing all the hard work then? Who do you think? Do you think Super Pig 1 looks like he's doing hard work? I don't think so, he's just taking a picture with Little Red Riding Hood. How about Super Pig 2? Is he doing all the hard work? No, what's he doing? He's giving his autograph to the gingerbread man, isn't he? So who is doing all the hard work? Here he is, look, Mr. Stripey Underpants, Super Pig 3 is doing all the hard work. And what's he doing, look? He's handcuffing this naughty girl. And who do you think this naughty girl is? It's Goldilocks, isn't it? Well done. On the other side of town, in his dark, dreary cell, the angry big bad wolf was hungrily plotting revenge. And on the wall you can see a newspaper here. And the newspaper says, Big bad wolf caught super pigs. Big bad wolf caught super pigs, save fairyland. And there's a little picture of the three, fa the three pigs there. But the wolf has thrown darts into the newspaper. He's not very happy about that news. Oh dear, and I think he is plotting revenge because he's reading all of these books. How to build a wall, bricklaying for dummies, 
How to forge keys, the art of bricklaying, cement mixing, the Great Wall of China. What do you think he's telling you to do with those books? He's reading those books. Why do you think he needs to read those books? What is that big bad wolf going to do? I just can't guess. Oh, look. What can I see here behind the bed? What are these here? What kind of marks are they? They're tally marks, aren't they? We know how to do tally marks. I think he's counting the days until he gets out of jail. A few weeks later, the super pigs were called by to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around Fairyland. The pigs were, ve were very puzzled. Who do you think might be stealing the books? Hmm. Then they received some shocking news. The big bad wolf has escaped! Oh no! The residents of Fairyland were terrified and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, said the pigs. We'll find that wolf and we'll make him pay. They hunted high and low, far and wide, but the big bad wolf was nowhere to be seen. Where is he, love? He's hiding behind that tree and what is he doing? We've found the thief. It's him that's stealing the bricks. But what is he going to do with them, do you think? The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Some people claim they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. Do you think the wolf could dress up as an old lady? Has he done that before? Hmm. So the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in Fairyland. Do you think this one's the wolf? No. Is this one the wolf? No. Is this one the wolf? No. Is this one the wolf? He is. But the wolf is a master of disguise and they just couldn't spot him. That's a good phrase, isn't it? The master of disguise. What do you think that means? If you're a master of disguise. I think it means that you're really good at tricking people into thinking you're somebody else. If you put a mask on or some different clothes or a wig. Is anybody else a master of disguise? I can be sometimes. I think I might be a master of disguise when I get back to school. You'll think you'll have a new teacher. As night fell, the townspeople locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. Everyone hoped the pigs would find the wolf soon. Mm, I hope he does. Here's the wanted poster look. Wanted. Have you seen the wolf? Inside his own home, the first super pig was relaxing when a dark shadow suddenly fell upon the room. What do you think that dark shadow is going to be? Who's this guy here? The big bad wolf, cried the little pig. In a panic, he ran all around the house and out through the front door. But he was met with a terrible surprise. The cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the pigs' houses using the stolen bricks from Fairyland. They were surrounded. As the wolf closed in, the little pig raced up a nearby ladder to scale the vast wall, but it was just too short. Couldn't get out, look. The wall was too high and the ladder was too short. Gotcha, sneered the wolf as he netted his prey. Oh, what's prey? Prey means that he's going to eat him. Oh no, I hope the big bad wolf doesn't eat the pig. That would be a very sad ending. Unaware of the danger, the second super pig was at home polishing his medals when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. The big bad wolf! 
shrieked the little pig. Terrified, he let out a scream and ran through his front door, but he got a nasty shock when he saw the enormously high wall. Oh dear, he's trapped too. Desperate to escape, the little pig, Maggie, okay, the, the big bad wolf's not going to get you. Even Maggie, <coughs> my dog's scared. That's enough. Desperate to escape, the little pig jumped on a nearby trampoline, bouncing as high as he could, but it was no use. Gotcha, boasted the wolf, catching the poor little pig in his trusty net. Oh no, now he's got two out of three pigs. That's not good, is it? Two down, one to go. Laughed the wolf menacingly as he prepared his delicious meal. Oh no, look what he's doing to the pigs. He's wrapped them in pastry and he's going to cook them in the oven. The third super pig had heard the commotion and was busy hatching a plan when the big bad wolf suddenly appeared at his window. Oh, I think this little pig has got a plan up his sleeve. Oh, he has. With a plan in mind, he raced straight out of his front door and past the wolf as quick as his little legs could carry him. What do you think this little pig's going to do? If you were this little pig, what would your plan be? Just don't know what I'd do. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their tight pastry blankets just as the scary wolf caught up. Ha ha ha, there's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. I've built a wall around your houses and now you're trapped inside, laughed the hungry wolf. I don't think so, shouted the three little super pigs and in a flash, they blasted off high into the night sky. Once more, the clever pig had used his inventions to save the day by creating jetpacks for him and his brothers. The super pigs had outsmarted the silly wolf who was trapped far below inside his own self-built prison. Oh, that silly wolf has built himself his own prison. Wow, pigs really can fly, said all the people of Fairyland. There they are, look. Can you recognise anyone in that picture? I can see the three little bears. I can see Rapunzel. All the fairy tale creatures live in Fairyland. The pigs were heroes and they had saved Fairyland again. Hooray for the three little soup pigs. The end. But what do you notice about the end? Is there a full stop at the end? And what is that mark there? Do you know? That is a question mark. So we're actually asking, is it the end? Is it the end of the story? Because look what the wolf is reading. The wolf is reading a book and it says how to build a jetpack. So what do you think the wolf might be planning now? He might be planning to jet out of his jail and cause some more mischief. What a fantastic story. Did you like that story? It's fantastic. So remember, we're learning all about fairy tales, but some fairy tales can have a bit of a twist or they can be a little bit different from the ones that you've heard in the past, which makes them more interesting, okay? See you later.